Hello my virtual friends, my name is Catherine, also known as Miss Blue, and welcome to Animal Intern. In this game we play as cute humans who are training to become cute animals. That's all I know of it. It's about self-care and positivity and that kind of thing, so let's just get straight into it. Let's see. You've wanted to be an animal for a long time, and today is the day you stroll into the wild to find a mentor. Right. Oh, mentor, correct. Uh, what animal do you want to study under? D bear, deer, or tiger? Hmm. Which one indeed? <clears throat> I think deer. Let's try that one first. Oh, was, ah! Uh, one second, let me just adjust some things. There we go, that looks a bit better, okay. Deer are beautiful. Our beauty comes from nature and patience. Take your time to practice our ways. Take inspiration from nature and find the beauty. Let's see. I shall pick flowers. Ah, very verily and things like that. All other flowery words like that. You find a small meadow to collect flowers in. They come in all shapes and sizes and they are beautiful. Even the ones that are not as colorful or a bit wilty or have been stepped on. Yes, lovely. I feel very uh, great already. Right, where do we go from here though? I saw, I saw a clicking thing somewhere. Oh, there. There. No, wait, never mind. That's just the thing not being that. <clears throat> oh, let's go back. Oh, I see. Uh, study nature. See how that does this. You go deep into the forest to observe the way other animals find their own beauty. Oh, that one's a bit uh, nervous about the other one. That one's not too sure either. That could, probably because I'm spying on them just like that. It's like, yeah, just I'm just here. Don't mind me. Don't worry about it. Okay. Cool. Oh, we can go scroll down. Whoops. You kind of creep everyone out. Learn from your mistakes and try again. Okay, sorry, or I'll, I'll go back and pick them flowers and actually scroll down like a sensible person. You take some time to lay in the flowers and meditate the beauty within nature before you return to the deer. I did it, everyone. I did the right thing. <clears throat> Excuse my voice exploding for a second there. <clears throat> These flowers are just perfect for bringing out our inner beauty. Why don't you join our herd? With a lot of these. <laughs> Oh, I look so cute. Look at me. You always remember how many forms beauty take in nature. How many ways you are beautiful too. You're a beautiful deer. Yay. Anything else? Oh, heart. Yay. Oh, is that it for now? Alright, then well, we're definitely going to go on and do uh, the other one. So, huzzah and hooray on that front. There's lots more to be done here. There's two more animals. We'll get those ones done. We'll just read this first. Animal insurance being by Solomon Fletcher. They're an animal intern who lives in Minneapolis and makes comics. This is their first twine game. Wow. It is indeed wow. That's awesome. If you like this game, consider supporting someone on Patreon. You can also talk to them on Twitter. Thanks for playing heart. <laughs> right, cool. All right then. Uh, I'm sorry everything looks really weird, but I had to like try and get the thing out properly. But anyway, right, mentor. Let's go for tiger this time. Ah, very pretty. I love the designs of these drawings. They're very like childlike, but yeah. Not realistic in any way, which I kind of, which I can enjoy a lot. Tigers are strong, and not just physically. We support each other by co commending our friends' strength and recognizing their own, no matter how small they may seem. What makes you strong? I left the house today. Hmm. I made myself something good to eat. That's definitely not the one. Oh god, my diet as a student is actually abhorrent, honestly. <clears throat> Although I eat more fruit than I would do at home, but that's only because like there's literally nothing else in the house that I could eat. It's just dinner that's like, yeesh. Oh, that's, that's a lot the same, but I know I could obviously make the effort, but it's more like I don't want to waste food if I don't get the chance to, because sometimes I don't plan my day. It's sort of like get up, record, and then the rest of the day is pretty much free to do whatever, either it be like uni work, writing for DVR, drawing, X, Y, and Z. And I don't plan what I do, so I'm sort of like, I don't know what, how much time I have to make dinner, so it could literally be like an hour or like a few, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna say I left the house today. <clears throat> Sometimes it can be hard to leave your comfort zone, but you did it. Getting out for the sun and fresh air is great. Oh gosh, I have been running as well for like ages. It's so bad. I hate myself for not running since like the beginning of October. I still remember the time it was either being slammed by essay work or literally not being in the country as well at one point, so... Oh, it, it's bad, but still, right? Since that one's there, uh, how about maybe sell something good to eat? Keeping your body strong is important, even if all you're doing today is laying in bed and watching movies. Oh, the dream. The dream indeed, if only. 
It blew my laptop wasn't so noisy. It's all, it, it breathes quite a lot, let's say, when it runs the disc, so having those silent moments in movies just being interrupted by the noise is kind of a... Uh, makes you wish you had a television, which I don't, so it's fine. <laughs> It can be intimidating or overwhelming to cook a meal when it's easier just to grab another spoon of peanut butter. But you did it! Well, I don't like peanut butter that much anyway, so it's fine. Making your own meals is a great way to remind yourself that you are strong and in control. Okay then. I'm so proud of you being strong for yourself and others is important. I think you've earned your stripes. Yay! Remember to take every, t every day... Remember to take time every day to list your strength. Even small everyday accomplishments are acts of strength. You're a tiger and you're strong. Oh, don't make me gush game us. Let's go back a little bit. I see what the other one would say when we go straight through that. Uh, left the house. Strength. Ah, okay, it's the same thing again. All right. Yay, heart. Ah, that's the end of this one. Okay, so back around again. Let's go to the bear. If the, if the tiger strikes, what's bear gonna be? No, sure. <clears throat> Bears are masters of self-care. That's why it rhymes. <laughs> Get it? Bear, self-care. Well, anyway, when bears aren't feeling our best, we treat ourselves to indulgent and healthy stuff like ball bass, silly games, hot tea, and sweet treats. Why don't you try yourself too? Get yourself ready for... Get yourself ready... Oh, get yourself some honey. Why did I, why did I see the fuck it shop? Not only is it yummy, but it's full of vitamins recharge your body. Alright. Look around the forest for some honey. Go to the market. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm going to buy it from an anteater. Of course. Alright. You see some signs pointing towards the farmer's market and decide to go that way. Along the path are lots of beautiful wildflowers and you take some time to pick a few. At the market you, you meet a friendly old woman selling raw organic honey. She borrows with you for the flowers you gathered. Yeah, we did it. What my girlfriend think I'm a looker with these, eh? She giggles as she weaves the flowers into her straw hat. Go ahead and take three jars of the flowers. For the flowers, dear. Yeah, we bartered everybody. That's using our smarts that we learned. Wow, this honey's delicious and so nutritious. Seems like you prepared to be a bear. <laughs> oh, come on, you know that one was funny. Yeah, the rest of you do as well. <laughs> All right, uh, dot, 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 question mark, uh, exclamation mark. A bear that is great at self-care. Aha, we, I knew we'd get a giggle out of you. You did already, good game, you did already. You're great taking care of yourself, hearts. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Okay, all right, let's go back. Real quick, not to the market, let's go to the forest. We're probably gonna get, yeah, stung by bees. You find a beehive nearby, this must be where the bears usually get their sweet treats. You climb the tree carefully and grab, da grab down the hive. Oh, that's a bad idea. Luckily for you, it's empty of bees and full of honey. That's not true, ever, but okay. You climb back down with the hive under your arm, but when you reach the ground, the bees are waiting for you. It's okay, you can always try again. Yeah, that was not a wise idea in any fashion. So let's go to the market again and just get to the end of this. See if there's anything different, just to make sure. Heart, oh, that's all it is. All right then. Wait, no, 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 back, no, back. I meant this one. There we go. Okay, all right, let's just adjust things. Make it look a bit nicer. There we go. Just, just so it's all, all of the game and not anything else. All right then. That was nice. Just a sweet and short little game. I love the art style of it. It's very cool. I'll very nice. I like it a lot. Softly done, not too fine on its lines. I like it. It's very good. Anyway, I guess that will do it for this episode. It's just a short little experience about self-love and all that nonsense. It's stre all that nonsense. Excuse that. It's a thing I say. Either way, beauty, strength, and resourcefulness. That is what we learned from the deer, tiger, and bear. That's a nice little lesson I think we can end off on today. So then, that will do it for this episode. Thank you all so kindly for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I hope to see you in the next one. See you later.